Hey, this is Rob from Brilliant Prep with another question and answer that we're going to get to today. As always, if you want me to answer your question about the SAT, ACT, subject test, college admissions, etc., uh, go to the link in the description below and fill out the form and I will respond to every question. Some of them I might actually turn into a YouTube video. Uh, and if I do make your question a YouTube video, I'll keep everything private. No one will know it was you, so feel free to ask what you want. Everything is kept private, but I will respond to every question. So go to the link in the description, click it, fill out the form, and I'd be happy to answer your question. So today's question is about the SAT reading science passage. There's at least one what we'll call natural science passage on the SAT reading section. It's very often the last passage of the section. Sometimes it could be earlier, but very often the last. And they do, along with the history passages and the fiction passages, tend to give students some trouble. And so let's run through some tips that you can use to help you uh, approach these passages in a more effective way. So the first thing that I would recommend is to make sure that you're following the core strategy. And so by that I mean, this is SAT reading, the rules of the game are the same. It's still a reading passage, same questions, same everything, same rules for why questions are right or wrong or why answer choices are right or wrong. So follow the strategy. Don't change the basic approach of what you're doing. You know, focus on finding evidence in the text. Uh, the question types are the same. So the question types for the various strategies like line reference, two part, all that is the same. So don't, in some sense, treat it any differently than any other reading passage. Uh, the second bit is don't get hung up on the sciencey bits. So by that, I mean, there's going to throw a lot of terms at you, a lot of concepts and theories and jargon that you've never heard before. But this is not a test of science content. You're not meant to necessarily take what you learned in biology or chemistry and apply it to the questions to get answers. Uh, you only need to figure out what the questions are requiring you to comprehend. So don't worry so much, as I say in this last point, about understanding the whole passage in every detail. You only need to understand what they're going to ask you about. You only need to understand the concepts and the science as far as you need to to answer questions. And often that doesn't mean, oh, I need to know what's going on scientifically here. It's let me find the evidence in the passage that, say, defines that term, or defines that idea, or connects these ideas together. Let me find that information, and I'll be good. Everything you need is in the passage. You want to make a special heavy use of keywords in chronology. This is especially true for questions without line references, so questions that don't say lines 12 to 18 or whatever. You want to make use of keywords in chronology. Um, keywords and chronology, I've talked about these in other videos. I talk about them in the SAT reading course. But in short, keywords are words in the question that are you know, particular terms, jargon, names, really specific things that if you find them in the text, that's probably where the answer is going to be. So if the question talks about um, penguin metabolism, then you probably want to find a part of the passage that talks about penguin metabolism. That's very likely where your answer is going to be. For chronology, this is very important. If the question is early in the set, the answer is probably early in the passage. If the question is towards the end of the set, then your answer is probably towards the end of the passage. So use the position of the question in the set to help you figure out about where you should start looking. As always with SAT reading, don't reason beyond the text, right? Even though you might know the science, you might know some stuff about the topic or not, don't go beyond what the text is saying, right? Limit your answers to what we'll call conservative, moderate readings of the text. Do not speculate, do not make assumptions, do not try to read between the lines. It's a very hard-headed activity. Find, okay, the questions about penguin metabolism, where do they talk about that in the text? Which lines? What do those lines say? Which choice is most consistent with those lines. I mean, a lot of this is very similar to what you would do in any reading passage. That's why, you know, we go back up to the top here. I mean, at the end of the day, this is just SAT reading. So follow the strategy, follow the approaches to the questions. Don't get too hung up on the science, but, uh, you know, don't reason beyond the text. The final point here is the question is queen. I talked about this in a previous video I posted on the channel. And this is actually really important for science in that the question can often contain subtle hints that you need to identify and notice, and then incorporate into your approach to the answer. So for example, if the question says something like, what do the authors set out to prove or something like that? The key here is what matters to answer this question is not what they actually found doing the experiment. The results don't really matter. What matters is what they 
wanted to find. And usually you're going to find that early in the passage. So again, we come back to this idea of chronology. Um, usually you're going to find that when they're talking about the author. So Jones and Smith set out to prove what? Well, the passage somewhere early in the passage will probably talk about Jones and Smith and their hypothesis or what they set out to prove. So that is a really important clue. If you go off looking for what they did find, the conclusions, the data, you're going to be off in the wrong direction. So pay very close attention to what the question is saying. And as always, reread the question if you get stuck. If you're stuck on a question, you're stuck on the choices, give that question a reread. You might have missed something the first time. And the final point here is, as always, just remember this question, answer, passage, triad. There has to be a consistency between what the question is asking for, what the passage says in response to that question, and then the choice and how it is consistent with what's in the lines. You can sort of think those all those things have to align. They've got to be parallel. They have to be consistent with each other. Um, and if there's anything that's disjoint, anything that's not quite mixing with the other, that's when you're going to run into problems with choices. So in short, SAT science, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky, those passages, especially when they start throwing you know, stuff that you've never heard at you, you know, before at you. But don't freak out. Follow the game plan. Approach it the same way. Focus on keywords. Focus on chronology. Find evidence in the text, and you'll be in good shape. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, if you have questions of your own, click the link in the description. I'd be happy to answer your question and have fun studying.